three ways. So let's look at curiosity, because curiosity is another one of those things that you are taught to suppress as you go through the socialization process. We are told things like, curiosity killed the cat. You don't want to be too curious. That's dangerous. But curiosity is a big trait for innovators because they're constantly looking at things and asking this question. I wonder what would happen if you fill in the blanks. Well, let's look at two curious men who, because of their curiosity, led to game-changing innovations. Let's go back to 1946. Percy Spencer was a researcher for Raytheon Radar Company. And he's doing some experiments with the radar one day when he notices when he goes to get his daily chocolate bar out of his lab coat that it's kind of melty. It's kind of really soft and mushy. And he goes, huh, I wonder if the radar did that to my chocolate bar. So he gets another one out and puts it in front of the radar and it melts it right away. So he goes, I wonder what would happen if I put an egg in front of it. So he puts an egg in front of the radar and it cooked it. He goes, I wonder what would happen if I put some popcorn kernels in front of here. And so he did. And it popped the corn. He goes, oh man, I got to tell R&D about this. Hey guys, you got to come over here and see what the microwaves in this radar is doing to food. And so they did. And a few months later, they came up with the first microwave oven, and who can tell me what they called it? Radar range, radar range. yes. <laughs> All right, let's go back another 10 years, well, that's actually 11, to 1935. Tom Blakely was, at the time, one of the world's best surfers. Now, surfing back then was all done on traditional Hawaiian surfboards, which are just flat boards that are really tall. You could get out on it, you could stand up, and you could pretty much ride the waves straight in, which is pretty fun for a while. Tom wanted to see if he could make this surfboard turn a little bit, but he really couldn't, because if you try to turn on that surfboard, it's going to flip out from under you. You're going to wipe out. You pretty much just get to ride straight in. But then one day he's walking along the beach and he sees a wrecked motorboat, an old wooden motorboat that has washed up on the shore. And he goes over to look at it and he notices on the bottom of the boat, because it's upside down, is a small metal keel. He goes, you know, well, they put keels on boats to keep them from flipping over, especially when they're turning. I wonder what would happen if I put a keel on my surfboard. So he actually took that very keel and pried it off the rotten wood, took it home, nailed it to his surfboard. The next day he gets out on the waves and he's able to turn his surfboard. And the other surfers are going, man, what kind of magic are you doing? How are you doing that? And on that day in 1935, Tom Blakely invented the surfboard fin and revolutionized the sport of surfing. It's cool to be curious. Innovators are curious. Exercise your curiosity as often as you can.